you have things such as compliance, taking them correctly. Um, I think one third to one half of um, elderly patients don't take their medications correctly. There are several factors that contribute to problems elderly patients have taking medications. This is known as non-compliance. These include simply not being able to read the tiny print on the labels, not being able to afford their prescriptions due to low income, or not being able to pick them up from the pharmacy because they have no way to get there. But once they have their prescriptions, there are always ways you can ensure that your elderly parents or grandparents are taking their medications properly. You know, instead of saying, are you taking this one time a day, you let them tell you how they're taking it. Because if you say, are you taking it one time a day, they don't have the slightest idea, but they're shaking their head yes. You know, and you want them to tell you exactly how they're taking it. Elderly patients are most commonly treated for four types of conditions cardiovascular disease, as well as cerebrovascular disease, many different types of arthritis, memory loss like dementia, and depression. One reason the elderly have problems taking medications is simply because they have so many. This creates interactions that can cause things like blurred vision, drowsiness, or even incontinence. A physician is between a rock and a hard place because if the person needs that medication and they know it can cause this side effect. And sometimes you have to weigh, um, you know, risk versus benefit. If they really need it. We may have to put up with a little drowsiness. Rhodes made it very clear that just because someone is elderly doesn't mean they have to live with pain. But the thing that I think that's most important for students and people to understand is that, that geriatric patients are no different than the rest of us. One of them told me one time it was like being a, a young person in an old person's body and wondering what the heck happened. In Pocatello, Chris Cole, Idaho State of Mind.